Are you there? Where? A flying start. Is that you? Yes. How do you know? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, we're not finished then, are we? Yeah, well, we're still here, aren't we? Are we? I can't see a thing. Well, you can still think. I think so. Yeah, well, you can still talk. Oh, what should I say? <coughs> Don't bother. Uh, you can still feel, can't you? Oh, there's life in me yet. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are you feeling? A leg. Yes. Yes, it feels like my leg. Uh, how does it feel? Dead. Dead? Oh, I can't feel a thing! Give me the pinch! Ah, <laughs> Well, let's clear that out. <laughs> <laughs>
you. No, 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 no. I asked you first. I got the same as you. Well, but he wouldn't discriminate between us. How much did you get? The same. How do you know? You just told me. How do you know? He wouldn't discriminate between us. Yes, even if he could. Which he never could. He couldn't even be sure of mixing us up. Without mixing us up. Why don't you say something original? <laughs> no wonder this thing is so stagnant. I mean, you never take me up on anything. I mean, you only repeat it in a different order. I can't think of anything original. I'm only good in support. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sick of making the running. It must be your dominant personality. Oh, what's going to become of us? Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. Listen, stop. Come on, it's all right. Hey, look, look, I'll be sure that we're all right. We have nothing to go on. We're out on our own. But <laughs> we're going to England. We're taking Emma there. What for? What for? Where have you been? When? We won't know what to do when we get there. We've got a letter. You remember the letter? Do I? Everything is explained in the letter. We can count on that. That's it then, is it? What? We take Hamlet to the English king, we hand over the letter, and then what? Well, then there may be something in the letter that keeps us going on a bit. And if not? Well, then that's it. We're finished. Had a loose end? Um, Are there likely to be loose ends? Who is the English king? Oh, that depends on when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it says? Oh, greetings, expressions of loyalty, asking of favors, calling in of debts, obscure promises, promises balanced by big threats, diplomacy, Ooh, regards to the family. And about Hamlet. Oh, yes, of course. And ask the full background. Well, I should say so. So we've got a letter which explains everything. You've got it! <laughs> oh, fine. What's the matter? The letter! Well, have you got it? Have I? But you can't have lost it! I must have! You know, that's odd. I thought he gave it to me. Perhaps he did. <laughs> but you were so sure it was you who hadn't got the letter. It was me who hadn't got the letter. Yes, but if he gave it to me, then there's no reason why you shouldn't have it in the first place. In which case, I don't see what all the fuss is about you not having the letter. I admit, it's confusing. Oh, God, this is getting all rather undisciplined. <laughs> the night, the boat, the sense of isolation and uncertainty, these all induce a loosening of the concentration. Uh, look, come here. <clears throat> now, tighten up. Now, either you have lost the letter, or you never had it to begin with to lose. In which case, the king never gave it to you. In which case, the king gave it to me. In which case, I would have put it here. There. Now, we mustn't drop off like that again. Now that we've found it, mm. why would we be looking for it? You thought it was lost? Something else? No. Well, now that we lost the tension... What tension? What was the last thing I said before we wandered off? When was that? I can't remember! Oh, God, what a shambles. No, we're just not getting anywhere. Not even England. What? England. I never believed in it anyway. What, just a conspiracy of cartographers, you mean? I mean I don't believe in it. <laughs> oh, I try to picture us arriving. A little harbor, perhaps. Roads inhabitants to point the way. Horses on the road riding for a day and a fortnight. And then the palace in the English King. That would be the logical type of thing. But my mind remains blank. No, we're slipping off the map. Yes. Yes, but you never believe anything until it happens. And it has all happened, hasn't it? We drift down time clutching at straws. But what good's a brick to a drowning man? Hey, don't worry, it won't be long now. We might as well be dead. What? Do you think death could possibly be on a boat? Oh, no, 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 death isn't anything. <laughs> death is not. You take my meaning? Death is the ultimate negative, not being. You cannot not be on a boat. 
I've frequently not been on boats. What <laughs> <laughs> you been is not on boats. <laughs> I wish I was dead. I could jump over the side. That would put a spoke in their wheel. Yes, unless they're counting on it. I shall remain on board. That will put a spoke in their wheel. That's what I thought. All right. We don't question, we don't doubt, we perform. But a line must be drawn, and I would like to put it on record that I have no confidence in England. Fine. And even if it is true, it'll just be in other shambles. I don't see why. He won't know what we're talking about. What are we going to say? We say, Your Majesty, we have arrived. Oh? And who are you? Ah, well, we're Rose and Francie Goldenstone. Never heard of you. Yeah, well, we're nobody special. What do you want? Ah, uh, well, we've had our instructions. First, I've heard of it. Let me finish. We've come from Denmark. Yeah? What do you want? Nothing. Well, we're delivering Hamlet. Who is he? You've heard of him. Oh, I've heard of him, all right, and I want nothing to do with it. Well, wait a minute. You I'm... march in here without so much as a fire leave and expect me to take in every lunatic that you try to pass off with a lot of ice and <laughs> dead No, 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 look, we've got a letter. Oh, a letter? Yes. Yes. Oh, a letter. Thank you. Hmm. Well, oh, well, this seems to support your story such as it is. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is an exact command from the King of Denmark, importing Denmark's health. Then England's too, that upon the reading of this letter, without delay, I should have Hamlet's head cut off. What? <laughs> the sun's going down. It'll be dark soon. And um, if that's west. You think so? Um, I was just making conversation for his friends. Well, how do you know? From my young days, brought up with him. Well, you've only got their word for it. It's what we count on. Well, yes, but... But then again, no. Wait, let's keep this in perspective, shall we? I mean, assume, if you like, that they've, uh, well, they're going to kill him. He is, after all, mortal. I mean, death comes to us all, eventually. <coughs> And so he would have died sooner or later. Well, to put it in a social point of view, he's just one man among many. I mean, his loss would be well within reason and, co and convenience. Well, to put it another way, um, I mean, what is so terrible about death, right? As Socrates so philosophically put it, since we don't know what death is, it is illogical to fear it. I mean, it might be very nice. <laughs> Well, certainly it's a relief from the burdens of life, and for the godly, a haven and a reward. Or to put it another way, that we are small men, and we don't know the ins and outs of the matter, there are wheels within wheels, etc. It would be presumptuous of us to interfere with the designs of fate, or even of kings. All in all, I think we'd be well advised to leave well enough alone. Um, fix the letter. <laughs> Seal, assuming you were in character. Well, what's the point? Don't apply logic. He's done nothing to us. Or justice. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> yes, but it could have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I was beginning to think so. <laughs> oh. The position as I see it, then. We, Rose and Captain Gilmanstern, from my young days brought up with him, yeah. were awakened by a man standing on his saddle, and were summoned and arrived and were instructed to glean what afflicts him and draw him out to pleasures, such as a play, which, unfortunately, as it turns out, was abandoned upon certain nuances outside of our appreciation, uh. which resulted in, among other effects, a high, not to say homicidal, excitement in Hamlet, whom we, in consequence, are delivering for his own good to England. Good? We're on top of it now.
Well, he's a second husband himself. It was tactless, really. <laughs> but it never really got going. It, it was just getting interesting when they started. Oh, <laughs> that's the way to travel. <laughs> Wait a minute, what were you doing out there? Oh, hiding. Uh, we, uh, we had to run for it just as we were. So always. Naturally, yeah. <laughs> we didn't get paid owing to circumstances ever so slightly beyond our control. And all the money we had, we lost, betting on certainties. You know, life is a gamble at terrible odds. If it was a bet, you wouldn't take it. Did you know that any number doubled is even? Is it? <laughs> we learn something to our cost every day. <laughs> but we troopers just go on and on. Do you know what happens to old actors? What? Nothing, they're still acting. <laughs> Surprised to see us, then? What? Surprised to see us. Oh, I knew it wasn't the end. <laughs> With practically everybody left standing. <laughs> well, what do you think of it so far? Well, he doesn't give us much to go on. Oh, you speak to him? It's possible. But it wouldn't do any good. But it's possible. Pointless. It's allowed. Allowed, yes. We're not restricted. No boundaries have been defined, no inhibitions imposed. But we have for the while secured or blended into our release for the while. Get the spontaneity and whim of the order of the day. The other wheels are turning, but they're not our concern. If we can relax, we can breathe. And we can do what we like and say what we like to whomever we like without restriction. Within limits, of course. Yeah, well, certainly within limits. of suicide, foregoing of exercise, loss of mirth, hints of claustrophobia, not to mention delusions of imprisonment, <coughs> invocations of camels, capons, chameleons, whales, weasels, hawk hands on, riddles, fibbles, evasions, myopia, amnesia, paranoia, daydreaming hallucinations, stabbing his elders, abusing his parents, insulting his lover, and appearing hapless in public. <laughs> Knock me, droop stalking and sighing like a lovesick schoolboy, which at his age is coming on a bit strong. And talking to himself. And talking to himself. Now, where has that got us? He's the player. He's the player, better than the king. Authentic king. Who orders his arrest. Orders his arrest. He escapes to England. On about to which he meets. Rose of France and Gilderstone taking Hamlet. Who also offended the king. And kills below him. Offended the king in a variety of ways. To England. Well, that seems to be it. Huh. Incidents! What? All we get is incidents! Oh, for crying. Dear God, is it too much to ask for the little sustained action? <laughs> Ambassadors from England to No, don't you understand? 
pirates have left us home and dry. No, dry and home. Drome, it's... Oh, God, the pirates have left us high and dry. Oh, 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 oh damn. <laughs> we need Hamlet for our relief. <laughs> yeah. What are we supposed to do? This. <laughs> Then 
so I me. And if this is ours and that was his. And if there are no explanations for us. There be none for him. <laughs>
sight is dismal, and our affairs from England come too late. The ears are senseless that should give us hearing to tell him his commandment is fulfilled, that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Where should we have our thanks? Not from his mouth had it the ability of life to thank you. He never gave commandments for their deaths. But since so jump upon this bloody question, you from the Polack Wars that you here arrived from England, give orders that these bodies high on the stage be placed to the view. And let me speak to the yet unknowing world how these things came about. So shall you learn of carnal, bloody and unnatural acts. Casual slaughters and accidental judgments of death put on by forced cause and cunning and in this upshot, purposes mistook fallen on the inventor's heads. All this shall I truly deliver 